All right, everybody. So I know that y'all were wondering like how to write the community section of the teaching philosophy thing. Uh, yes. So I have not technically written one before, but I have an idea. So I'm gonna share the idea that I'm probably gonna use with y'all. Also happy Halloween. That's why I'm wearing a, cos a costume. Okay, so first things first, we have community. And it's kind of this big circle, right? That's a little bit vague. So what are we gonna do first? So first thing is you just come up with a whole bunch of ideas of like, how have I built community? So one thing I do is uh, circles. I love circles. So we're gonna start with circles. Um, another thing, that I like to do is games at the beginning of class. Uh, I also like to regularly ask questions that are not academic, so non-academic questions. Non-academic engagement. Let's see. What else? I'm gonna come up with probably about nine of these uh, just for the vibes. I like to let people linger with the same friends. So uh, stay with same friends. Though occasionally I'll have people switch to other parts of the room. Not often though. I respond to student questions by uh, connecting them to the main uh, subject. So respond to comments with subject matter. And you'll notice that these uh, examples are getting longer with each time because I'm having to think just that one step deeper. Keeping an accessible classroom so, uh, accessible, accessibility, and flexibility. Now we're getting, like with this one, I'm getting more towards some of my like core uh, beliefs of like, I think that students should have, oh, meeting students where they're at. And the last thing I do is I kind of like make hyping each other up mandatory, even if it's a little silly. So I'm just gonna write that as hype. So we have all of these different ideas and you're probably thinking like, oh my gosh, this is way too much to put in uh, a teaching philosophy like single paragraph. And that's true. So now what I'm going to do is group these up. And this is probably the part, like the brainstorming and grouping up is probably the part you're familiar with, but there's a couple other steps that I want to get to. So we've got, uh, right now I'm really, I'm stuck on this word hype. I think that's a category. So like hyping, games, non-academic engagement. I would say that all of these are like community via fun. So I'm gonna make a category over here of like community via fun. Actually over here, it's just gonna be categories. Community via fun. Via fun. I guess, and games. Uh, and then the next thing I'm gonna look at is what other category might there be? So I have circles, I have accessibility and flexibility. Uh, and I would say that the games also fit here is like the actual physical structure of the classroom. So community via structure. And that's this one, this one, and this one. All right, and then the last two remaining here are sort of like meeting students when they're asked, responding to students. This is sort of like 
a community via humanity, I would say. So really looking for those giant themes. Now, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is, so you have community via, well, I have community via fun, community via structure, and community via humanity. So what I'm gonna wanna do now is go through each of these and think of using this whole web here, what is the best concrete example I have of any one of these? Because now I've like kind of gotten an idea of like what I'm actually trying to say. So community via fun, probably the biggest thing that I've got here, I would say probably just like the fact that I regularly include games at the beginning of my class, that's a thing that differentiates me. So when you say best concrete example, what, what do we mean? We mean something that differentiates you, keeps you away from the cliche, and also just something that like you do regularly and can say exactly how you do it. <laughs> so like if you were asked, would you know how you did that? If the answer is yes, you can use it as an example. And if the answer is no, either figure it out or don't use it. That's my opinion anyway. So community via fun would be the fact that I regularly include games at the beginning of class. Some of them are more connected to the subject than others. Um, and I've been working on various types of community builders, but for right now, the games are a really big one. All right, so I have community via structure. Um, this is actually gonna be, for me, it's making an accessible classroom. If students have a problem, I say, understandable. <laughs> like, that's what I say. Like, that's okay, we're gonna work together to make sure you have learned. I wanna make sure that students have extensions, can talk to me, all of that stuff. If they're not really feeling comfortable engaging with one of my uh, activities, I'm gonna figure out the best way they can engage. So, accessibility and flexibility. Um, and then community via humanity, uh, that's really gonna be like meeting students where they're at. Um, and for me, that means, uh, I have a concrete example of like, uh, there were students who were literally not willing to do a presentation that I asked them to do. And so I said, okay. Uh, it was sort of like a silent acting sort of presentation and they were like, no. And I said, okay, how about this? I'm comfortable with doing it. You're a director now, you're gonna direct me and I'm gonna act it out for you. And it actually really helped them out because they were still able to learn and they were able to step just that little bit out of their comfort zone. Like directing your teacher, that's a little weird, but they had permission to, so it was okay. So I have these three different main concrete examples. Now what I'm gonna do is not, not use the word community in my heading, and instead, I'm gonna say I make an accessible, flexible classroom. Instead of saying community, I'm going to say like how I make writing fun. And then meeting students where they're at, I would probably make some sort of title related to uh, a larger version of that example. I actually don't know what title I would go with for that one yet, but the point is you can include community in those paragraphs, but if you really wanna differentiate yourself and make it clear like, oh yeah, community's kind of like the obvious thing, then don't use it in the heading, use it in the paragraph all the time while keeping the heading something completely different. But in the end, it's all inspired by that community that we're all striving to build. So I hope this helps. Uh, I just made this on a whim, so yeah. Have a great day.